It's a death to find out you won't believe I so lost in mind for the newborn seeker That was Lost Day by Other Lives, off of their 2020 album, For Their Love. I have never heard of Other Lives before, but that had some sort of, like, nostalgic feel to it for me. Sorry if you hear a dog growling in the background. I've got a young dog messing with the older dog. They're both playing with a toy. Thanks. Um, we're listening to that today because we have a Magnetic Field song from 2020 up in competition today. Hi, my name is Bean, and you're watching Battle of the Band. We're on day 10 of the Magnetic Fields Part 2 tournament, and that is Match 4 in Round 2. If you're new here and you're wondering what the Magnetic Fields Part 2 tournament is, let me explain. We took every single song that the band Magnetic Fields released between the year 2000 and 2024, and we threw them into a single elimination style tournament. Now they're doing battle and head-to-head -head competition until one remains in the end, and that's the very best song that the Magnetic Fields released within that time period. The reason we're doing that time period is the same reason it's part two. We already covered all of their stuff from the 90s, and this is the second half of their discography. Maybe at the end we'll compare the winner from their first tournament and the winner from this tournament, and determine the winner of the overall tournaments there. We could do that. Starting off today... We've got 76, Hustle 76. Uh, the first 76 is representative of the year that the song takes place. This one was released on 50 Song Memoir in 2017, and every song has to do with a certain year in his 50-year life at the time. Well, in 2015, he was 50. He would have been 52 when he released this, but, you know, it takes some time to release some things. So he would have been 11 at this point. Um, on Genius.com, there's an annotation that says, In 76 Hustle 76, Merritt recalls an event from his childhood in which he attempted to purchase a sound-alike disco compilation record after seeing a commercial for it on late night TV. So I guess it had to be an album that sounded like the disco hits that you know and love, but it wasn't actually those songs for copyright reasons. Um, like they couldn't get the licensing, but they still wanted all the money. Sound Alikes is kind of like putting a lot of effort into it, I, I think. <laughs> In the album's lyric booklet, Merritt mentions that the record never did come. I actually... I think I actually forgot to mention that in the song, which is strange, because it is certainly the entertaining part of the story. I ordered it, it never came, so I've spent my life replicating. So he forgot to even mention the joke in the song. Um, hopefully it's still a good song. It's probably still a good song. Its competition today is very short, and that is Castles of America, released in 2020 on Quickies. This is the opening track to Quickies, and the, the uh, annotation on Genius.com is probably longer than the song itself. It says, Stephen Merritt, principal songwriter and performer in the Magnetic Fields, says that, Well, I had a book of Castles of America. I wrote the song long enough ago that I don't actually remember where I bought the book because of the song or the other way around. But they clearly influenced each other. There's lots of eccentric millionaires in America, and about two-thirds of them have built castles. And they've been doing it since the mid-1900s. This begins a theme on the album, interrogating opulence and status, and the literal castles. So this opens up a theme to the album. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into the songs and see which one's the better of the two. 
Um, typically, a song that's only 35 seconds isn't going to do great in something that isn't a grindcore tournament, but we'll see. Here's 76, Hustle 76. was pretty fun i think the album name was hustle 76 the one that he was trying to order sorry the dogs have changed from fighting to chewing so you're gonna hear like a knocking sound in the background i can only record these videos when i do record these videos so i apologize for any dog noises but i live with two dogs they're great but they're loud when they want to be uh loud i don't know how castles of america is going to stand up that had some cool like rhythms in it, it sounded like an Alien making a disco record, really. I liked it. Let's check out Castles of America. I am off to see the castles of America. I've got the silver line I've heard the call. I will bring my friends to Lario and Erica. In a two year whirlwind tour. Well, I think that's easy enough. I'm going to go with 76, Hustle 76. Uh, essentially getting a buy through the second round going against a song like that. But I wanted to listen to every single song, and that's the way it is. You can't say Castles of America isn't a full magnetic field song, especially when it was released on an album called Quickies. But it wasn't 
enough of a song for me to choose it over Hustle 76. Like this video if you liked the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share it with anyone you know who might be into this kind of content, and let me know down in the comments which of these two songs you would have chosen if it were you on the hot seat today. That's all the magnetic fields action we've got going for the day, but please join me in just a little bit when we get down with our The Smith section of the day. We have a song that's uh, about 12 times as long as our shortest song today, up in competition over there. Until then, I hope you all have a great night, fantastic afternoon, and a wonderful morning. Thanks for watching. Bye.